right, we have just finished <clears throat> a one hour count in an area with a known radioactive level. 3180 counts per minute. This is what I bought at the store. Let me write this down quickly for those first because uh, uh, proper science is more important than anything else. 3180. Now, before I go any further into this, let's quickly do the math. Let's quickly do the math because we need to know this. 3180 counts divided by 60 minutes is a total of 53 counts per minute minus the normal 14 counts per minute I get in this room is 39 counts per minute not very high at all okay now we can get into it alright folks this is a piece of Vaseline glass a real genuine 100 percent piece beautiful beautiful piece of Vaseline glass that I bought today get to the store where you can see the little flowers that I bought today at the store. It's very lightweight and flimsy as they were made like that back then and it's made of uranium oxide and glass. Now let me switch back to normal counts per minute alright and then let me hook up my external sounder let me plug that on in the uh, plug that on in the jack right there there we go. I cut that on there we go. So now when I put this near this there, a nice click that we like Okay, now folks, while you're looking at that, let me ask you an interesting question. How can you tell the difference between these three pieces of glass? Which one is Vaseline glass and which one isn't? Well, you know this one is because it has told you it was. Well, for whatever reason, that's worth. Also, it ticks when you get it closed, but not much. This one does not, nor does this one. In fact, I would go so far as to eat off of this one. Doesn't it look just like Vaseline glass? But it's not. This is plastic. I bought this at the grocery store today. It looks just like Vaseline glass, doesn't it? This is the real thing, by the way. So we're not being lame here and having pretend Vaseline glass. This is real. This is also fake. Another one, see? I bought it at the store today. Again, I couldn't help myself. I think it's so funny that my grocery store uh, sells fake looking Vaseline glass. It looks just like the real thing. Look at that one. That one looks just like real Vaseline glass, and yet it's not. Besides the radiation readings, let's turn on the, uh, the black light and see what we see. All right. Black light on. Lights off. All righty. Let me get my black light in here where you guys can see. And there we go. Notice the difference. Nothing out of these two. Nothing. Well, that actually glows a little. But look at this. Under a black light, look at that beautiful, beautiful glow. It's not the most brilliant Vaseline glass you'll ever see, but my god, you can see it alright. When I take the Geiger counter and put it near it, the Geiger counter definitely picks up on it. Hey look, the Geiger counter glow is kind of neat too. It's not radioactive, but look at that. By the way, you're, the camera probably doesn't show you, but we're only at 20 counts per minute, which isn't very much. This Vaseline glass is very low in radioactivity, which is what I like. That means it ticks, which I like, but at the same time, it's also low enough that I can play with it without worry. Beautiful piece. Look at that. Beautiful piece. I'm pretending to get some more. All right. Notice nothing out of that guy. Pretty much nothing out of that guy. Beautiful glass. Anyway, <clears throat> Vaseline glass was sold in the 1930s um, you know, and whatnot, and, and, and quite frankly, anywhere from about uh, 19, probably what, 20 ish, maybe 2030. I'd have to go check it to make sure. I used to have it memorized, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Up until um, as late as even the 60s, Glass could would would be sold of it with uh, uranium oxide in it for coloring. Everything from uh, um, the reddish colored vas well, orangey colored Vaseline, no, not Vaseline, excuse me. I'm having a brain lock today. Everything from the orangey colored uh, Fiesta Ware that's so famous, all the way to uh, of course this greenish colored uh, uranium glass. Uranium is not very dangerous in this format because it's contained inside of the glass mostly, which you're getting for the most part, is alpha. There's some gamma and such, but mostly alpha. 
and you get the readings when you, uh, you can't see the readings, can you? Well, you probably can't, I can't tell, but it's 44 counts per minute. Um, it's not very high. I bought this at a local junk shop downtown. Beautiful. And in the next video I'm going to upload in a little bit, I'm going to um, be testing this with my Radmax lead shielding to see what kind of effects I get. Wow. How awesome. This has led me, though, to believe that there's a possibility that my other piece of uh, uranium glass may not be uranium glass. My other yellowy glass I'm always playing with, because it's there are various things about it that seem kind of weird. I'm not sure it's really uranium glass. This is the real deal right here, 100%, guaranteed. We'll find out pretty soon. Anyway, uh, for now, this is Tom from anti-proton.com with my beautiful piece of uranium glass for five bucks. Five dollars. Oh my god. What an awesome steal. I told the woman in the shop, by the way, too, and she was like, what? You mean they're radioactive? Yeah. I said, why do you think they're green? Well, that's not really a viable explanation. Both of these pots are green and look the same, and so are green crayons, and they're not radioactive. But I told her, I said, you know, look at how it glows in the black light. Isn't that neat? And uh, we discussed a little bit about that today, and she thought that was quite interesting. But I don't think I scared her too badly. But uh, have fun. Bye-bye.